Hi guys, this is Nathan and welcome to Sync Apps. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to set up an integration or sync profile, as we call it. First, what is a sync profile? A sync profile is our term for integration that refers to the setup of two available software where data from one software is synced to another software bidirectionally. Essentially, we call it integration. Depending on the sync apps plan you choose, you can set up one or even hundreds of integrations for your organization. Currently, sync apps supports 150 plus integrations, including CRM, marketing automation, e-commerce, financials, and even support software as your system of record. But for this video, let's take Salesforce, a robust CRM and sales platform, and Constant Contact, which is a marketing automation platform as an example of how to create a sync profile from your sync apps dashboard. First, let's log in to syncapps.kazumi.com so we can access the dashboard. Once logged in, then we can go to sync profiles on the left tab and just press create sync profile. After that, we need to name our sync profile. Any name will do just for us to remember what this integration is for. So for this case, maybe we can put Salesforce for constant contact. There you go. And after that, select the sync type, which is Salesforce to constant contact, then tap next. Now we are on the step one of the sync profile setup. A typical integration has six steps, where steps one and two are the most important parts as you need to log in using your software credentials on these steps. Let's take for example here, let's just choose OAuth2. Basically, this term means your secured credentials are needed for authenticating your Salesforce account. Then, let's choose contact for the object type to sync. If we want to sync other object types, we can create another sync profile for that. Then, all of these other features are optional, so just choose which of these are important for your business today. As you choose options here, our AI-enabled platform will suggest other options needed for your use case. So let's press next step and let's go to step two where I will connect constant contact and specify the main list which serves as the landing list in constant contact for all of my Salesforce data. After this, step three is where you can find the available add-ons for your sync apps plan. Step four is for additional field mapping where you can map fields outside the pre-map ones. Step 5 is for filtering and segmentation, which is optional and very powerful. We'll discuss this step on another video soon. Step 6 is where you can set up the schedule you need and let sync apps do the syncing for you based on the schedule you've set up here. For deep dive guides about other steps mentioned today, please watch out for our next videos. So once done on step 6, just tap finish and your sync profile is all set up. Your sync profile is editable anytime except for the object type to sync part, but aside from that, you can always go back here, just tap edit and change anything on your setup. Please make sure that every time you edit your integration, hit the reset sync process button to apply the last modified setting. Now all we need to do is either tap sync now or wait for the next sync time which is specified here to integrate your records bi-directionally. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is Nathan. Thank you for watching and for choosing SyncApps, the number one integration cloud for any industry.